this is part of. Okay, so this is a, a group research that entitles Association of Leisure Time Physical Activity to Physical Fitness of KDH Students. This is a part of our subject measurements and evaluation in human movement science. Uh, um, my group mate is with Roma Grace Pandan and Hadassah Diaz. As part of the background of the study, we have Leisure Time Physical Activity or the LTPA are pleasurable activities. They are voluntary, free from the demands of work or other responsibilities, one of the 10 leading health indicators. Cardiorespiratory endurance is, key, is a key component of physical fitness, and physical activity is closely linked to cardiopulmonary, cardiovascular, physical well-being, physical, uh, physical inactivity with excess body weight. As for our research problem, we have the study looked into the participant's physical fitness related components in relation to his leisure time physical activity. So since you are leisure, ma leisure studies major, do yun po ang ginamit namin. Okay, the research objective, the study looked into the following. Health related physical co uh, fitness components, we have the cardiorespiratory fitness, the body fat percentage, and the body mass index. Perceived physical activity level, respondents' leisure time physical activity, motivation and behavior, and of course, the association of the respondents' leisure time physical activity to the health-related fitness uh, components. As per the methods, these, is, these are the things that we use. We use the descriptive design, which is the quantitative, and the participants, we have the random sampling, uh, random, sorry, random purposive sampling. We have 26 um, Total college students from the College of Human Phonetics. They are specializing in exercise science and physical education. We have 16 male and 10 females. For the tools of the study, we have LPPA mot motivation. We use the PALMS questionnaire, the Physical Activity Leisure Motivation Scale, and the PAL, which is a perceived physical activity level. For the leisure, uh, leisure time physical activity behavior, we use the International Physical Activity Questionnaire short form. And for the health-related physical fitness, we use the three. For the method, we use in our data analysis, since our subject is measurement and evaluation, so it has to be emphasized that we use a lot of um, measuring tools and testing tools. So we use data analysis JASP and Microsoft Excel to find the frequency, the mean, and the standard deviation of our data. The reliability of the measurement, we use the Cronvax Alpha. And determining factors in the, uh, the PALMS questionnaire, we use the exploratory factor analysis, and we use the arbitrary value to determine the statistical limits. For the norm references for the HRPF components, we use that, and in comparing means, we use the t-test and one-way ANOVA. And of course, when looking at our main, uh, main problem, which is the relationship between the sets of variables, we use the linear regression and the Pearson's correlation. As for the results, I will have my, my partner. So for the results of the descriptive statistic revealed to max body fat percentage and BMI, it says that um, the, VO2, the mean VO2 mass 43.90 uh, body fat percentage and then BMI, then the results of uh, VO2 max is superior body fat percentage average for men and below average for women and the BMI of the uh, respondents is normal. Okay, with frequency of perceived physical activity level, um, with these computed data and uh, statistic data, the result of their PA, uh, PAL is vigorous. Okay, with uh, the summary of factors as a motivation for participation in physical activity, these are the factors, uh, results from factor analysis, and the, the highest mean for um, leisure motivation is health focus, health locus of control. So yun yung focus, yun yung, yun yung pinaka main concern. That's why they are motivated to perform physical activity. And the overall mean of 3.8 means they're all agreed and motivated. Then the script of statistics for participants leisure time physical activity behavior based on IPAC short, it says that their LPPA behavior is vigorous intensity 
uh, category based on their metabolic expenditure task. So, um, uh, mostly vigorous intensity yung kanilang activity. Then, per, per Pearson's coloration matrix for association of LPPA to uh, HRPF of respondents, it, the result says that LPPA behavior and cardiorespiratory endurance, there is no significant difference. Having an alpha level set to 0 0.05, LPPA motivation and body fat uh, relationship, there is no significant relationship. And for PAL and BMI, there is no significant relationship. In conclusion, leisure time, physical activity, behavior, and motivation of the respondent is not a determinant of their health-related physical fitness measurement. As a recommendation, this will serve as a platform for recommending a deeper study on the said topic. This could be done by increasing the number of respondents, variables, and units since in the school setting to earn diverse data among participants to either support or challenge the results of the study. That would be all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.